This is the Grand Hotel in Oslo, Norway. As soon as you enter to the left is the bathroom, which I would say is pretty small sized, but it's definitely sufficient. Uh, you do have a full bathtub, which is good. Uh, not a lot of space, but I would say good enough to keep your items. Uh, and they are keeping amenities by rituals. Uh, the closet space, I would say, is pretty, pretty good. Actually, really good uh, for even a long stay. And if this is not enough, they even have an extra open closet over here with some more space to store your things. Uh, this is the actual living room. An extremely comfortable and large looking, uh, comfortable looking and large bed. The usual television, coffee maker. There is only one seat, so this is not the best option if you're trying to host a lot of people in your room. The office desk is extremely uh, well-sized if you're trying to get some work done. However, to my disappointment, I don't think there's too many power outlets, so that's not really good. Uh, the view from this room is fantastic. Uh, this hotel is a fantastic location right at the heart of downtown Oslo. I believe that is the Norwegian Parliament. And this is some sort of a park. It's nice that you can actually open up this window completely and get in the fresh air. This hotel is part of the Scandic Friends uh, group. So this is not a part of uh, leading hotels of the world or Marriott or Hyatt or any of those guys. Uh, and for people who care to know, this hotel is where the Nobel Prize uh, uh, winners for peace uh, stay when uh, that is happening, uh, usually, I believe, in December time frame. So, again, it's pretty cool that, you know, this is the same hotel where Nobel Prize winners for peace uh, have stayed before. Once again, this is the Grand Hotel in Oslo, Norway.